Today we show you how you can create a basic class asset for the Unreal Engine 4. So basically we created with this Resus Max Apex plugin, which you can download from the NVIDIA development page. So we just put the link into the description. After you've installed it, click onto your class part, in my case this skirt here, and then check if it is assigned or skinned to the skeletal mesh, otherwise it won't work. After you've did that, just go into the isolation mode, click onto the create classing button, and then this properties here should appear. In here you have to search for paint and for channel value. At channel value you can co control how far the class will move. So for example at channel value of 0, then it won't move at all. But you can also type in a channel value of for example 50 or 100, then it will move around. But for the first one we'll just type in 0 and then we'll click onto flood. Now type in a value of let's say 50, go to settings, and change the brush size to, for example, 20. Then click on to paint and paint it on. And as you can already see here, the red part has a value of 50 now. Now we'll type in a value of, let's say, 35. Then click on to click on to settings, change it to, for example, 10, the brush size, and then paint on the 35 value. Okay, and that's it. Now the rest I will leave at zero because it shouldn't move in my case. Now just go out of the isolation mode and try it out. So just click onto this little green button here and click onto play. And you can already see it reacts like a cloth. But of course it won't collide with the character. And that's what we do now. So just close this window, click onto your cloth part, go to this tab here, create kinematic rig, and then just add a kinematic rig. Now those properties here should appear. Now scroll down a little bit to the bottom and at the from choose bones, at the shape, capsule and inflation you should choose a value between 0.6 and 1. I will just type in 1 now. Then go up a little bit and here at bones you have to add the bones that should collide with the class part. So that should move the class. In my case the type bones are the most important ones. So, so we'll just go to add and there we'll just choose the type bones. That's it. Now click another time onto your class part, go into the properties and then search for contact thickness. There you can choose how thick the, the class part should be, so how much collision it should have. For example, when you type in a value of 90.5 and then when we try it out, you can already see it collides. But as you can see here, it's not perfect. So here you just have to play around with these settings. You can also add some self-collision, motion adaption and so on. But I will just leave it like that now. Then when we go up a little bit here, you can see those properties here, the physical material. There you can change the gravity scale, the friction, the damping and so on. Here also I have to just play around. I will leave it like that now. So I will just close this. Now just export your character. So go to File, Export, FBX. Where is it? And then just export it. Then click onto your class part. Go another time onto Export. And this time choose export selected. Then down here at save type you have to choose physics and apex. Then type in a name and click onto export. Okay, now open up the Unreal Engine. And then we will try it out. Okay, now import the character. In my case this will take a little bit. So we'll just wait now because it's a pretty big file size. Okay, now do a double click onto your character. And then under the properties, you have to search for add apex classing file. Now click onto it and add your apex file. Now we have to search for our material slot for the skirt in my case, so for the class part. And there you can see classing, and there you just have to choose your apex file. And you can already see here, it moves. 
And now we can also go to show and down here you can apply a wind to it or disable the clothing as you can see here. And when we apply a wind then it will move a little bit as you can see here. But those changes won't affect in-game. So this will just be in the skeletal mesh editor. Okay, so close this down and I will show you animation. So just type in walk double click onto it and then it will add it to the level. Okay, so let's try it out. Simulate. You can already see it behaves like a real class part. That's a, in my case it's a pretty bad example because when it would jump around then it would really react like a class, but this here is just a normal walking animation. But as you can see here, it looks pretty good in my opinion, as you can see here. And yeah, thank you for watching and until next time.